and just pour that healing flow mm. of life and freedom. Amen. I receive it. Our protection. Mm. And in, in humility, I come and just honour each one of you. I honour the angels in the house. I honour the men in white linen in the house. And all that will come and listen to this recording, we just pour that oil and that wine and that fragrance and that freedom all over your feet too. So we are just engaging the angel Raphael, um, healing angel. And we just welcome all of you that have just joined us um, on this engaging in heaven's realms today. We'll just continue to receive for a few minutes or a little while. Are we receiving the healing from any disturbance or um, interference in hearing and in sleep and in any other thing that uh, of trauma uh, we just allow and receive Raphael who's one of the angels assigned to um, engage in heaven's realms um, to minister to us I see things being unplugged from us that have been a hindrance or a burden. Earlier, um, Zoe mentioned that there was a, a, an abundance of oil and wine for us. And gold. Yes. Said wine, oil, and gold. Mm. Mm. And gold, gold restores the frequency of the light because gold has to do with electrical current and our central system, which used to be called the nervous system, we call the central light system now, <laughs> it's infused with, with, with life and gold. We embrace and taste and feast on the gold. I hear Raphael say that Receive you now the joy of the Lord. Mm. He's brought bundles of joy. <laughs> Thank you. Let's pass it around. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. So I'll drink to that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the joy of the Lord is our strength. So uh -huh. as we Strength is coming. Every week mm -hmm. is turning into strength. Weakness and tears may endure the night, but joy cometh in the morning. This mm -hmm. is the morning of joy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a very heady mix this mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I tell you about what John and I experienced um, Sunday having to do with this? Mm. We always invite Jesus specifically to join us for Sunday lunch. Man. And um, so sometimes we see Jesus bring something with him. And John asked him if he brought anything with him. And because sometimes he's got an elixir, like he'll bring pomegranate juice or something. And uh, so John asks if he brought anything with him, meaning elixir or something, as he has done before. Jesus answers, yes, new wine. <laughs> wow. After lunch, we settle in with him to take communion, and John asks for him to give us of the new wine. Purity is here with a crystal clear bottle with gold and silver writings and designs on it. The stopper is a ruby. It is filled with a deep red wine that has flecks of something gold in it. It's beautiful. I ask what the new wine portion is that he has brought us, and he says, purity in maturity and maturity in purity. Ooh. Mm. Loaded. It's loaded is right. Holiness mm. arrives and hands us new crystal cups. When Jesus said, you need a new, oh, you need a new cup to partake of the new wine. Mm. The flecks of gold in the wine is not gold at all. It is fire. Mm. <laughs> John and I put on the fire and wine mantles. I have mantles, prayer mantles. It was fire. And um, it was quite a profound experience. Just, I mean, I find fabric, I hem it, I put trim on it, and you would not believe the warfare I had to get them made. And then the, um, the fire mantle, quo, the fire mm -hmm. mantle was so powerful and so much of warfare that when I finished it, I set it aside and wouldn't touch it for days. Mm -hmm. I just said, Lord, you prepare me to put that mantle on because right now I'm afraid of it. <laughs> <laughs> so we sat together under the mantles. We put them around us, both of us, and we received, oh, we received the new wine. Jesus tells us in the days to come to remember the new wine and the fire. They are intermingled and cannot be separated. Mm -hmm. The true new wine comes with the deep joy of true holiness in purity. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that the Lord said that I didn't bother writing down was what he's been telling me for a long time now is that the giddiness, it's, it's, time, for, it's time to go beyond the giddiness. Mm. There are mm. people who are trapped in the habitual response to the spirit rather than the fresh response. The fresh response of each encounter Mm. And this new wine isn't going to cause us to all sit down and laugh hysterically. This, this new wine is a strength-giving, deep-abiding joy wine. And it comes with the purity of the fire of God being allowed to burn in our hearts. Mm. Mm -hmm. So... Um, you know, God has showed more about the fire last year. Whew. But it's the, the, the interesting thing about this mantle that he gave me is that the trim the, it had little plastic beads on it that looked like bells and pomegranates. Huh. And um, it's made out of a heavy satin. So that the new wine has weight to it. The joy that comes with the new wine has weight. Uh. It's not, it's not just a time to be silly. It's not mm. just a time to um, mm. have an experience. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a time to truly and deeply engage with the Lord, with the new wine. Mm. Mm. 
fire mm. with the maturity with the maturity mm -hmm. so anyway mm. hear that. Wow. Mm. thank you for that we we were also um, planning to engage um, in the father's heart this morning and um and Frederick was uh, going to, to lead us in, but I think that just dovetails so much with what you were saying there, Judy. And, uh, um, and you know, we, we know that at his right hand, where we, where we are in Christ, there's pleasures forevermore. And they're deep and they're just so true and <laughs> you can't help but be filled. Mm. So, so um, perhaps uh, Frederick could engage us in together before we go okay hey, let me say this whilst judy was talking about the the weirdness of the uh, garment i felt a, a sweep of the presence coming mm. a heavy sweep and what i had the lord say was that this this um ha ah, this mantle is not just coming to sit on you it's coming to empower you for exploits mm. Mm great exploits you know the joy of the lord is our strength and that's not just the joy that we have in him it's the fact that he has great joy over us and we respond to that joy to that joy that's where the strength comes from is when we respond to his joy over us mutual joy and also, it's as we, uh, you know, the more the revelations that we receive fill our heart with so much joy. Amen. The more the revelation of who we are and who he is, and it just, it, it keeps that never-ending supply of deep joy in us. And also the victory over the enemy. Mm. <laughs> How the Lord laughs at his enemies. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see David, David dancing and his garments falling off. Yet on his face is a big grin. He's smiling. That joy is bubbling out of him. It's a frequency, an intense frequency. Yeah. And, and I'm dancing with David in this pool of joy. I'm twirling. Ha ha. Oof. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Um, just to say, um, John and Judy, that we uh, we turn our video off when we um, record this, so we're recording it. I just felt to go into the recording earlier, so you may want to turn your um, your videos off. There we go. And then we put our mute on if we're not speaking, just to help the sound be good. And then when we speak, we uh, unmute, okay? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for sharing that. Wonderful. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you. Thank you, John and Judy. Um, thank you, Frederick, for taking us further. Okay. So, Father, I'm, I'm reminded of the scripture that says that as we draw near to you, that you also draw near to us. And Father, even as it was our desire to meet with you and to ascend and to enter your presence, Lord, you have you've taken the initiative and you've already reached out to us and you've already welcomed us into your presence. So Father, we just thank you for the honor that we have as sons to, to, to honor you as Father, to honor Jesus, to honor Holy Spirit. Lord, we just honor and, and acknowledge all of the heavenly hosts that have that have come and, and have welcomed us so warmly this evening, today, Lord, that um, we just want to thank you for your for your grace. We want to thank you for your mercy. Lord, we want to thank you for your love. And Lord, even now as you have poured out on us and, and anointed us with joy. Lord, I just realized that Nehemiah 8 verse 10 says that it is the joy of the Lord that is our strength. Lord, it is your joy that you pour over us that gives us strength. Lord, for, for many years myself, I've looked for joy in myself, but it is your joy 
that you pour over us. So Lord, tonight we accept this wonderful gift. Lord, there's this wonderful gift that you have given us of your joy that is our strength. Lord, we thank you for, for your wine mixed with fire that you have given us. Lord, we, I just want to acknowledge tonight, Lord, of the, the great and wonderful works that you are doing in our lives, Lord, because truly, as Scripture says, it is not of man, it's not of our works that we can boast, but we come and we humbly accept and we thank and we, we honor you, Lord, for that which you are doing. Thank you, Lord, that you are leading us to maturity. And even as it was said earlier, Lord God, that there's purity in maturity and maturity in purity. So we, we receive that from you tonight, Lord. And Lord, we submit ourselves as, as living sacrifices to you and say, Lord, whatever is on your heart, whatever agenda you have tonight, Lord, we submit to that body, soul, and spirit. And we say, Lord, we are honored. We are truly honored to be in the presence of the Almighty God, to be in the presence of the King. And Lord, we acknowledge you as our God. We acknowledge you as our King. We acknowledge you as our Lord. But above all, Father, tonight we acknowledge you as our Father. And we thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus' name. As we engage now, um, feel free to share anything that you're sensing, hearing, feeling, and um, we honor everyone as equal to um, share the gift of what you're seeing and hearing as we engage together. I, I just sense that once again the Father is inviting us to to his banqueting table. Um, I know that many times with with official functions we we are greeted at the door with with complimentary drinks, like an introductory thing. And um, I just sense that even now as we've entered in with with what we've received, that it is like a just like an entrance gift that the Father has bestowed on us and. And, and dealt between us and uh, that he's inviting us to a table to to sit down and to feast with him and that we can receive of him and learn of him and from him yes and as you were saying that frederick i saw that at the table is manna and at the table is um each one has our name at that uh, seat that we're to sit at and um, um, I was we was reminded earlier um, about um, John in Revelation where it said if um, to those who overcome I will give to eat of the manna from heaven and I will give them a white stone and a new name and um, the manna I was seeing was is um, fresh revelation, mystery. And we also recognized that it, in Isaiah uh, chapter 62, or, uh, yeah, 62, um, the same uh, word about a new name. It says, and the nations shall see your righteousness. Uh, not your own, but his, ascribed to you, and all kings shall behold your salvation and glory, and you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. And so I see these names at our table for each of us, and, and the manna is set before us.
I, I see it too. I see the table laid out beautifully. And by, by the right side of our chair, our personal angels are also standing there. At least one of our personal angels are standing there with a smile waiting on us to go sit on our tables. On our chairs, sorry, next to the table. I, I confirm with you, um, patients. I, I sense the, the invitation that we find our seats, we find, we, we find our names, we find our seats, and that we then um, take our seats at the table. So should we go sit down? I believe that the angel will lead you to your right chair. And you, when you get there, you will know your name too. Yes, I agree. I agree with you, patience. Yes, I agree too. Anyone else have something else um, to add? Or does everybody agree? Yes. We yes. agree. Yes. We agree over here. Okay, let's go sit in our seats that our angels uh, lead us. It's a good opportunity to ask your angel's name if you don't know their names already. And engage them for a minute or two. I just felt to add that um, we earlier connected um, and were ministered to by the angel Raphael, who's one of the angels assigned to us. And just to mention the other two angels, um, who is holiness to the Lord and transition. We welcome and honor you angels.
So I was just engaging the manna and um, first of all, I thought, well, it's, it's really, it's sweet. But then I saw this um, swirling around the table. It was like that, you know, circular motion of like colors around the table uniting us together. And I got the word common union. And so I thought communion. Okay, I said, is this, are we taking communion by taking this manna? And then because the manna was to me representing hidden things, hidden treasures, hidden revelation. And I, and then I saw how that made sense to me because in the communion, when we feast on Jesus, we feast on the everlasting, never ending life source and all the treasures of all wisdom are in him. So it just made sense to me that um, we're having a communion with him together. And I was seeing that all of this revelation we would get is, is bringing us into common union with each other. I'd just like to confirm that I was um, engaging with the angels when you mentioned the angels in the house and they were spinning me round and it was like, you know, a children's spinning top, a humming top that has colours in it. So you see the swirl of the colours. And so I was kind of seeing that swirling all around us, the colours all around us as well, and the joy of that movement. Um, and uh, so, yeah, and I was tasting the manna and that was sweet too. So I just want to confirm that. Thank you, so And uh, Jeanette Benner said yes, too. And what Zoe saw about the twirling around and the colors blending, um, I was just reading something earlier this evening, and it was talking about inertia. And when the Holy Spirit begins to move in our lives, and there's that, that kind of um, movement that goes on, like a gyroscope being aligned with the Lord. And the, the gyroscope is like the wheel within the wheels that Ezekiel saw. And it's the Holy Spirit at work in us. So the, the blending of the colors, the blending of the unity that, that we all carry, it's the, the blending of the seven spirits of God. And it's, um, it's, it's an inertia. What God has started, we can continue in. Thank you, Judy. Wonderful. Does it um, resonate with you that at least some of what we're seeing about 
uh, feasting on the manna has to do with the, 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 the hidden manna has to do with showing us how everything is interconnected. in God. I agree with you, Michelle. It's it is um, realizing that we, that you know the kingdom of God is within us. God is within us. We are in Him. Um, it is that interconnectedness. It's that that oneness with the Father um, that Jesus prayed about in John seventeen, where He says, um, "The Father and I are one, and pray that you are one." So yes, it's that that interconnected oneness thing. Um, I'd just like to say my my new name is Una, which is U N A, and it stands for Union Now All. And um, that's that the Father, the oneness with the Father, is what my heart beats with. <laughs> so yes, I would agree with that. That's the passion of my heart. Wow, beautiful name. And I want to say that um, when I engaged the manna, it was sweet, like you always saying. And that thing I saw was that when I opened it and I was about to eat it, I, 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 I heard, look in it. I almost swallowed it. It was a ring in the manna. Like a small a, a dinner roll like a donut little you know and inside it was a ring and he said this is a ring of union a covenant of union normally we think about maybe the marriage the bride and all that yes but this one he said it's a marriage it's a covenant of union this is the the symbol the ring is the symbol of a covenant a union oneness with god the father the Godhead, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, it's oh. a lovely patience. Ah, oh, beautiful. What does the ring look like? It's a gold ring with diamonds inside, round it. Shall we put that ring on? Yes, ma'am, I feel the same. And just as you see in the marriage, in the marriage, um, you and your husband exchange rings and the two become one. The two become one, that's the idea here. You no, no longer separate. That oneness, that union, you are on earth, yet you are with him in heavenly places. You are seated with him on the same throne and thrown above principalities and powers. Like Jesus Christ said that when uh, Thomas, you have seen me all this time and you don't know the father. So they will see us and they will know the Lord because we are him and he is us. I'm just getting the words eternity ring. Like a cluster of diamonds, like a cluster of, so it's an eternity ring.
Amen. Oh, um, I never mentioned this, but it it just came to my mind now to read it. Um, that same scripture out of First uh, John. Uh, mm -hmm. No, sorry, not First John. Out of Revelation. Uh, let me just read it here because <laughs> it's quite interesting. Um, Okay, and he who is able to hear, let him listen to and heed what the Spirit says to the churches or the assemblies. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat of the manna that is hidden, and I will give him a white stone. Wow. With a new name engraved on that stone. So in a sense, that that speaks to me of that of that, that ring. ring. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, and yes. the new name and our new name is engraved on that ring. Yes. <laughs> okay, now, so let's look in the ring and see the name in the ring. <laughs> it, it also says, it also says here, which no one knows or understands except he who receives it. And mm. I, I I feel like that that may be true that someone may not want to share the that's meaning fine. they got. But mm -hmm. if you want to share it, then that's wonderful. And we already have Zoe sharing hers, and it was wonderful. I love it. Let me tell you mine. My name engraved in the ring is immortality. I will live forever with my body. The beautiful thing about this is that because we're seeing this common union, that everyone who shares their name, we may also entangle with it because it's also part of us. Yes. Yes. So we can entangle with Zoe and Una. Union, now, all. And, and it just come in and just embrace you and honor you so as Una in heaven, your name in heaven, Una. And we love it, we honor it, we agree with it, we embrace it, we embrace you. Yes. We entangle with your DNA and we entangle with Una, the union with God forever. Union now all. <laughs> Of course, in some most languages, it means one. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's all entangle. Let's all just yeah. merge into that. Ooh, mm. I love it. Mm. I feel like I'm just embracing all of you right now and just pouring into you everything that God has poured into me. <laughs> Yes, you're receiving it. You remember how you said that you saw it was like this top, so you know, like was spinning. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, it's kind of like that spin, you spinning, and we're all just uh, it's all coming on us as you're spinning around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's the dance. That's the oh my gosh, that's the dance of the we all have a dance, we all have a song. Yes. <laughs> and remember, I saw David dancing, twirling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the, the angel I brought with me, um, I looked to see which one it was. And her name is Thalia, which means flourishing. Oh. And she, she has oil that binds up the brokenhearted and sets mm. captive free. Mm. So receive her oil too. Ooh, yes. Beautiful. Mm. We just yes. arc, to, arc together mm. to minister you. Yes. yes, we receive you, Thalia, your ministry. Amen. Yes, to us and to our families. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I keep seeing um, a multicolored ribbon. It's like um, all the so many colors, like colors I can't even describe, and they're all interwoven together. 
And this uh-huh. is a very, very wide ribbon, almost like a sash. Mm. And it's, it's, I don't know how to describe what it's doing. It's, um, it's weaving in and out around us. Wow. It's, 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 it's amazing. I just keep seeing it. I kept seeing it over and over and over again, and it's just not going away. It's, it just keeps weaving. It's just weaving in and out. Mm. There's just, uh, mm-hmm. um, like, I think it goes right along with the whole <sighs> theme of the unity and how God is unifying mm-hmm. the hearts of yes. each other mm-hmm. and with him. And it's, it's these amazing colors. I'm sure they all mean something. But right now they're so interwoven. I can't. I couldn't even pick them out. Mm-hmm. If I yes, it's absolutely beautiful, and it just keeps. It's flowing. It just keeps flowing and weaving in and around us. It's exactly what I see when I come into the presence of God in the river of fire. I see that all the time. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I had uh, an experience earlier in the week where it was as if the Father was playing the tape of my life and there were blanks in it where he'd removed the the things that were not and he was then putting in dubbing over the gaps all the things that I've missed Mm. Mm. and he was and father son and holy spirit were singing these harmonies Uh and the angels joined in as well so suddenly I had my full tape and then I had this picture of it it being ready because it was recording I saw this button recording it and then it it was like it was poised ready to play and I feel like I've just put it on play (laughs) (laughs) so you're you're hearing my my music that I've recorded with the father but the beauty of it is is that then the intention of the father is that we all have our tapes playing so that mm-hmm. we get the full symphony, the full sound, mm-hmm. the fullness of the all. Mm. Awesome, Joe. So, sorry, I thought um, that just so dovetails with what I was um, seeing when um, Judy was sharing that. I was, I was just thinking, looking at it, and I was saying, oh, that looks like our true DNA. Yes, it I looks like same. our pure DNA. I saw the same about it. Did you? Mm-hmm. Wow. It's okay. like our individual DNA is intertwined together. Uh huh. The pure DNA is a true, yes. full, complete, yes. as um, Zoe was saying, the true um, expression mm-hmm. of our DNA. And also, it, t- it dovetails in with, um, of course, with patience and immortality. Her name. Yes. That's the Im- immortal. Um, image. <laughs> mm. Wow. And I release all that in my DNA about immortality unto you all. Mm. If you want to receive it, mm. so we shall all live forever. <laughs> so you're, you're playing your tape now. <laughs> That's it. I'm playing my tape now. And you know, you know my tape, my tape is a big flower. Mm. It's a big flower. <laughs> with many petals and different colors. And as one falls down, about 10 more replaces it. (laughs) And and the color itself, refreshing, refreshing. And I see dew on it, dew on it. And the dew on it, they are singing songs. Mm. They release Mm -hmm. the melody. And so Mm -hmm. I can't can't stand there but dance and twirl and spin. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is dancing with me like beauty and the beast. (laughs) <laughs> we dancing forever mm. and he picks me up hallelujah oh my god puts me I on his chest and I, enter into, fragrance. <laughs> I enter into his heart when he picks me up and carries me on his chest i get consumed zoomed into his very heart i'm lost in him that's my tape dance uh. with me to immortality mm. Mm. Yeah. Yes, we just entangle with that right now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Breathing in the fragrance of that flower. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Just filling our lungs with your sweet fragrance. Mm. Of the, the fragrance of immortality. Yes.
Anybody else wants to share their name? What's the name in your ring? Mine is full of grace. Hallelujah. Mm. Wow. That's favor. Let's no. enter into that. The first time favor, grace was mentioned was Noah. There was so much trouble on the earth, but Noah found grace mm. before God. And that's what brought the restoration of the earth, mm -hmm. the, the preservation of the earth. And that grace is on you, sweetie. That grace, I see it beautiful on you. Oh, I feel like we just entered into a, a, a dance of grace with Hallelujah. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Grace. Thank you. Yes. Mm. Has anyone else been aware of an angelic orchestra in this banqueting hall? I just keep seeing it, the angels, the strings and harps and um, instruments that I've never seen before. And it's more like a, um, what do they call it? A parlor ensemble, but they're there and they've been playing this amazing music that you can't describe because it's the sound of heaven. And, um, it's been interweaving with the colors. It's been mm -hmm. interweaving with everything that everybody, whoa, everybody has been saying. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 a, it's a music, but it's interweaving. It's life. It, it, it's just carrying life. It's quite amazing to see. Yeah, I saw um, the angels, some of them with instruments, like trumpets, trombone, uh, uh, different, different instruments. I saw it. Good. Mm -hmm. So Good. I, I guess we're a small piece, but you've seen the big picture. Well, it, it's, it, it all fits in together. I see part of it, you see part of it, but it's there. That's the yes. thing. There. It is there, yeah. Well, actually, too, it makes so much sense because this banqueting table that we're at we're, is also a dance floor because mm. we're, dan we're dancing um, with the true DNA that we each are and exp expressing it and entering into it, you know. Yeah. So we're having the dance with Una, we're having the dance with, with immortality, now we're having the dance with Grace. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. The dance floor. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So as we were dancing with grace, I just also saw, and I, I haven't seen this in the, in, in the Bible as such as a crown, but I saw the crown of grace on us. Ooh. I saw the crown of grace on, on, on um, Elsabi. Then I saw that when we engage with that dance, the dance of grace, that we had this crown of grace on us. Mm. On our heads. Mm. Mm. You know, in the book of Proverbs, it talks about the diadem of grace. Wisdom talks about it, giving it ah. to yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. So that's it. We receive it. Mm. And I see this dance of grace, it kind of, it, 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 to me, and I know it, it, obviously it's different because like in the spirit we can twirl around, but it was more like a waltz, but it was going into eternity. <laughs> it's, mm. it's an eternal waltz. Wow. Of grace. Thank you, also be. Is it eternity ring? <laughs> yes, Grace exactly. Yes, ring. <laughs> that's the eternity ring. Yeah. Amen. 
so Jeanette said hers is chastity. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Mm. That's the purity we were talking about earlier. Mm. Who thought about purity and maturity? Somebody said that. That was Judy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. We step into it. Mm. So as I stepped into it, I just saw my eyes locked with Jesus. Mm. And I was reminded about how um, to have eyes for no one else. Yes. You know, that is the eyes of the dove. The dove is, an, is a bird which has eyes for detailed things. And they, they talk to each other when... When, when they want to communicate love with their eyes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus, for chastity. We engage it. We engage you, chastity. Yeah. Jeanette, we engage your DNA. We entangle with it. Mm. Face-to-face -face love, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. That intimacy. I remember years ago, a pastor teaching on being the apple of God's eye. Mm. And I don't know if any of you have ever really understood what the Bible is talking about with that, because I didn't until I heard this teaching. And it's like when a father was going to go away on a long trip, he would take each family member and, and he would just look at them for a very, very long time to imprint upon the, his mind through his eyes, the image of that child. Mm. Ooh. And he would carry it with him everywhere mm -hmm. he went. Mm -hmm. So when father says that we are the apple of his mm -hmm. eye, it means that we are imprinted upon him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. He will forever carry us in his heart. Yes, that's it. And when we look at him, he's in, he's imprinted in us. Exactly. So yeah. You reflect back, and it's like if you look at someone in the eye, you see yourself reflected, and them reflected in you, and you reflected in them, and it goes on forever. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Exactly. That's exactly it. Mm. Who else is going to tell us her name or his name? Um, Alicia says hers is beloved one. Ooh, beautiful. Mm. The songs of Solomon says that I am my beloved and he is mine. Mm. Nobody comes between the two of them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Eternal love. My ring, my, oh, ring, sorry. my ring says ruby, and it means courage. Ooh. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. You just go into your, to your dance of courage. Yes. 
But just, we didn't do that of the beloved one. So let's yes. go in that dance first. That's true. And then do uh, Judy's too. Mm. So we step in your dance, Delicia. Mm. We step in the beloved. Amen. Yes. We entangle with your DNA. Yes. With your eternal destiny prince. Mm. That God has called you to be, you will be. Mm. The fullness. And we engage with it too. Mm. We are loved with an everlasting love. Amen. Mm. And I got these words upheld, honored, and cherished. Mm. Amen. Mm. Father, we just soak in the reality of being your beloved. Yes. Mm. And we just embrace you, mm. the lover of our souls. When you said that, I saw the ring again. Mm. Yes. Yes, it's a sign of love, beloved. Mm-hmm. Now put your name in that ring and, and great forever. Mm. We also embrace the one who is the Lord's beloved. So as we entangle with you, who is called beloved, we embrace and entangle. That's beautiful. Yes, we do, tell us, yeah. Embracing you as the beloved. Pouring his love from us into you. Yes. Uh Uh-huh. You know, the, the more that, that we engage with each other and we entangle ourselves in the DNA through the dance, um, the dance floor is getting rather crowded because the angels are joining us. The mm-hmm. more that we engage with each other, the more that we engage with this ring and what it means, the more that we engage with the names that we've each been given on on this ring, um, the more we engage, the more the angels engage with us and they're dancing with us. <laughs> Their destiny is caught up in our destiny. Uh, uh-huh. We have a responsibility to release them into their destiny too. Uh. So it's also seeing us in a dance, in your dance, um, beloved one, Delicia, beloved one. I was just seeing us together in the dance with with the Lord, uh, with Jesus. Um, and you know, when when it's a slow dance, and you're holding hand, and the the beloved one draws draws your hand into their their chest. Close. And I was just seeing that as an expression of us being the beloved one of Jesus and that we enter into an entangle with your name, beloved one. Amen.
Shall we move to Judy, um, your name, Ruby? Shall we engage Ruby? Yes. Yeah, it's, um, I just kept seeing Ruby and, and um, it has a lot of meanings, but the meaning that stuck out to me tonight was courage. Courage. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that I need to engage with fresh courage from the Lord with some of the things that I'm facing. Um, and it's just, it's, it's just so amazing because our courage comes through the finished work of the blood and that's the ruby red. Mm. And it also reminds me of the color Rubies are a deep red, and it reminds me of the color of the wine, the new mm -hmm. wine, and the joy that is deep and abiding uh, when it is established in the foundations of us, in our spirit, soul, and body. Um, it also is part of that courage. Mm -hmm. It's not just strength, it's, it's courage, too. Mm -hmm. There's so much in it, and there's just so much in it. And, and I see that uh, all along you have been giving courage to many people. People literally come to you for courage. At times mm -hmm. you don't even know why they come to you. But people just are drawn to you because of the courage you give them, even in your speech and your encouragement. Mm. Thank you. And I saw um, the ruby like flashing, you know, like like as if it had a light inside of us and it light inside of it and it was flashing on and off and the flashing on and off I saw was the heartbeat of the father. Amen. Well, that's always been the desire of my heart is to live out of the father's heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Judy. I yes. saw um, a goblet, a gold goblet with, with the red wine in it. And I saw your ring being dropped into the gold goblet, into the wine. Mm. Wow. What I was seeing was um, just like when I had my tape played and there were gaps that mm -hmm. I missed that were meant to be there and the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit were singing the gaps in. I just felt that there was a gap that he was just over putting the voice over on <laughs> so that the, the bit that you'd missed that was always there, that you'd miss seeing, that you'd be able to see. Mm -hmm. Amen. You'd be able to hear it and the frequency would be able to sound. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So we just call it already, um, in the in line with the heartbeat of Father. Yes. Duff, geduff, geduff. Nothing, nothing missing. Nothing lacking. <laughs> mm. Amen. Mm. Let's engage in that. Yes. We we embrace you, Ruby, Valor. <laughs> courage courageous one yes we honor the fullness of your name the allness mm -hmm. of your name now mm -hmm. So I saw us again, like um, the spinning top with Una, I saw us like again, like we started to form these circles around us as we were engaging with you. Um, and the circles are, we were being entwined in this spinning, the spinning dance with you, with valor, with courage, Ruby. Mm. 
And I, and I see that in the heartbeat of Father, of course, there's not even a, a trace of fear. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Perfect love. No fear. Mm Wow. Well, that's given me a deeper meaning or understanding of courage. It's expression of perfect love. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> it's exactly right. Without that, we don't we don't have much courage, do we? Mm -mm. <laughs> wow. You can speak for me. I don't know. <sighs> John says that he has found the name on the inside of his ring, but he's not real close to the microphone. What does it say? Loved for eternity. It says loved for eternity. Mm. And it goes along with beloved one, but it's like God just telling John, you're loved for eternity. Yes. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it's from eternity to eternity. So it's mm. always, mm. always. Yeah, never a moment not loved. <laughs> oh. Amen. Amen. It's like throwing off the grave clothes that didn't fit. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Putting on the true, the true clothes of your true identity. Mm -hmm. always, always loved. From and as I, and as I was started to engage in that. I uh, I saw a dance, like, you know, a really wild one. <laughs> Ooh. It's an expression of love from eternity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm hearing? Uh, th this lady's song. And I will always love you. Yes. Yeah, I know that song. Yeah. Yes. What's her name again? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always love you. Yeah, Whitney Houston. Yes, thank you, Whitney. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this is a wild dance. I'm seeing I'm dancing. And I see a lot of people dancing here. John, I, I'm seeing others that aren't you know, sort of like with us in, in this group here, joining us. I see Justin Abraham having a wild dance here. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I can see everyone splashing in big puddles of gold glory. Yes, and it's like the rain of love is just raining down uh, out of, uh, uh, you're, you're, this, you're the centerpiece of this love if everlasting love and it's just raining down everywhere around you it's uh, we and and it's like we're splashing in the water dancing around and, and it's, it's a strong dance it's a dance of uh, it's a wild dance but it's a, a wildly victorious dance that's what i'm seeing yeah well yeah you know i can see the drums i can see the drums just like these drums just like whoa going for it now <laughs> The big decision. Do we tell Justin where he's been? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's like, I know you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's the victorious dance of the ages. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
And the more we dance here, the more it rains glory and it rains uh, refreshing. (laughs) It's also the fire dance. (laughs) Yeah, refreshing is what I was hearing. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you know how it says that um, about Lucifer that he would he would walk up and down amid the fiery stones. Well, mm. this is like us dancing amid the fiery stones. Whoa. Mm. That's where it all started with me mm. when I was in the river of fire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're definitely all there. <laughs> that tape play and having your music put, <laughs> put together. Mm. Uh, I just saw this funny thing. I just saw Justin and I saw an umbrella and he and he said, hey, don't put an umbrella up because it has to be, we have to let the limitless continue. It has to be limitless. <laughs> it went to that. It went to that. The rain has to continue to flow, the golden rain, limitlessly. Yeah, on seasons. Mm-hmm. Is it, there's a song that says, don't stop, don't stop that crazy rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop that crazy rhythm, get it to your feet. <laughs> yes. Um. Let it feel your let it fill your whole body with its holy beat. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm doing just that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So who else has the name? Tell us. My name is White Dove and it means um, mature son, mature fathering. Wow. Beautiful. We step into that name. Mm. We step into maturity. Mm. Mm. It's connected to the uh, uh, chastity and 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 uh, purity, right? Because it says chastity and purity, which is maturity too. Mm. So we entangle with your DNA, Michelle. We engage in it. We dance to the song of your DNA. Mm-hmm. Ooh, entangling. Love it. Let's engage it. What do you sense and see?
the dove is also the Holy Spirit. I can see the white dove. Um, I was going to say flying amongst us, but it's more like flowing. But it's mm. very, very distinct, very beautiful, very pure. Um, it's really quite lovely. I see a couple of them. It's not just one, it's about seven, eight of them flowing around in the room gracefully. Wow. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. Like they are making a pattern with their, with their wings and swinging up and down around the place. Yes. Ooh. I just got under the wing of one of the doves, so I'm right in the pinions of the feathers. Have a ride. <laughs> wow. The feathers are like satin, like silky feeling, aren't they? Mm. Yes, yes, I feel it. Smooth touch. Wow, it's a comfortable place to be. Mm -hmm. Everything flowing. And now I see them all come together like a cluster of, it's like they are making a covering together over us. <sighs> and Michelle is in the center. Hmm. We are enjoying your DNA. Yeah, a mantle of feathers is what I'm saying. Like a, a mantle of feathers. Yeah. Yes. Resting over us. Beautiful. Peaceful. Shelter. Mm. We honor you, Michelle. We entangle with your DNA. <laughs> we receive the sonship, the fathering. That's a covering, the fathering. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's that living under the shadow of your wings. I find security, isn't mm -hmm. it? Stand and in your presence, I bring my worship. Mm. Mm. Worship to the King. And I just, uh, I was just getting to say, you are all beloved sons in whom fathers are well pleased, worthy, full of worth, honor, and dignity, full of holiness, consecration, and purity. Amen. We just want to honor you, Michelle, as a father. So we want to give you the honor of the sons honoring the father yes we honor you michelle yes amen mm. you also are fathers and i honor you I just sense um, that Abraham has walked in the room and he's just honoring you, Michelle. Wow. Mm. 
In fact, he's saying, I'm, I'm hearing him saying, I don't know if you're hearing this, that you're the son of my right hand. So it's like a father of multitudes. Hmm. Thank you. I embrace that. Thank you, Abraham, for encouragement, affirmation. <laughs> Amen. Beautiful. So funny, I just felt him put his arms around me and pick me up. <laughs> Swirl me around. <laughs> yes, he's entangling his DNA with yours. Yes. <laughs> wow. wow. And the joy of the father in the son. Mm. The joy of the son in the father. Mm. Enjoy it. Mm. Let's all entangle into that. Mm. Mm. Awesome. One big hug. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel it. Mm -hmm. Intense frequency. Mm. Thank you, Abraham. Mm. Father Abraham. Mm. The father of faith, the father of nations. Mm. So full of joy and life. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I said to him, you're very embracing, aren't you? And he said, I love hugs. <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> he loves entangling. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I can see that. <laughs> and this hug, hug will impart so much into anybody who engages it. Mm. Because he asks you to release into you mm. his DNA, his destiny scroll, yeah. you know, that which he, he didn't finish. Yeah. Mm. And we receive it, Father Abraham. Mm. Thank you for showing up. Mm. We're ready to go to the next person. Who else? And if you want us to look at it with you too, we would love to. If you don't want to say it, it's fine. But if you want to, then please tell us. Shall we just say we honor everyone, um, in, including you, who those of you who haven't uh, felt to share um, with the beauty of who you are, and we agree that this could be revealed to you in a very beautiful way, uh, what your name is, 
or a name from heaven. And as we, um, we have been so blessed by this wonderful time together that we would ask it be sealed in each one of us and established in each one of us for eternity. Amen. Amen. We both say amen. <laughs> you know, I see the uh, the fabric that Judy was talking about. I see it again. Like the weaving of it all together, different colors, different frequencies. Yep. But it's coming together beautifully as a as a tapestry, you know? Yeah, it's it's indescribably beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Um, yes. And the frequency it, re it releases is amazing. Yeah. You feel like melting. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, 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 it stands for the oneness, how God sees us as a body, mm. his body. Mm. And nothing can take us away from mm. him. Uh -huh. Not from each other in the spirit realm and even in the physical. Uh -huh. Bind us together with cords of love that cannot be broken. Amen. That together, whatever you have assigned this group, you have assigned us to do. The mandate you have given us, the blueprint, Father, by your grace, we will do it to the fullness of it. Uh -huh. And we engage each other's DNA. We honor you all. Mm. You are highly favored. You are precious. You mm. are unique. You are, you are beautifully and wonderfully made. The mm. Father took time to make you. And he prepared that, that this time we will meet each other. Entangle each other. And see the love of God in each other. We honor mm. you. We love you. We appreciate you. Mm. Whether we heard your name or not, we honor you. And we yes. honor your DNA. Whatever is in it, we honor you. Absolutely. We are uh -huh. I give everybody immortality. Receive it. And I take <laughs> yours. Yes. It becomes mine. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And immortality means that everything that is in us, that is of death, has no more right over us, no more power. We judge ourselves to life. Uh-huh. Absolutely. We judge our bodies to life. We judge our souls to life. Mm -hmm. And our spirit is already in life. So we present our body, soul, and spirit together blameless before the Father. To his glory. I'm sensing a real sweet, uh, beautiful fragrance. Look, all these different aspects are all coming together like a wonderful incense. <laughs> 